Hey, what's going on guys? It's Isn't right here and welcome back to another Clash Royale video and today uh, First off, I'm going to apologize for not being active on my YouTube channel um, Again, obviously lots of schoolwork. Uh, that's the obvious excuse, but <laughs> um, Really YouTube um, actually maintaining daily uploads for me is really tough Especially since I'm spending so much time uh, on editing the videos. So anyways guys today I'm going to be showing you guys this Mega Knight spawner deck that I featured in my last video and it uh, won the Double elixir challenge, and it's actually crushing the meta in single elixir as well. As you can see, we're beating Spellbait, we're beating a graveyard deck, uh, we beat another graveyard deck, we beat a Mega Knight deck, uh, we beat the Pekka uh, Flying Machine deck that clashed with Ash shared, uh, we beat another Mega Knight cycle, we beat Golem Beatdown, and uh, we also beat this weird deck here. So, anyways, we have been rocking this classic challenge here 11 and 0. So let's go ahead, see if we can get ourselves a 12-0 battle and wrap up a nice challenge win. Alright, so this last battle is going to be against CT Saparis TNT from the clan Bang Bang Boom. Uh, the clan name obviously fitting his uh, in-game name very, very well. So yeah, let's go ahead and place bats in the back to cycle to our Barbarian Hut. And uh, when I first place it down, I would recommend placing it three tiles from the river because the, uh, in that placement, there's no way for a Hog Rider or a Battle Ram to pass that. Anyways, uh, we've got ourselves a Mega Knight here, so let's go ahead and get some minions and a Miner down to tank for uh, everything. And there we go, uh, that Mega Knight is going to be going down. So uh, now we do have to deal with an Inferno Dragon, uh, but so let's go ahead and get a Goblin Hut down to try and uh, take out that Inferno Dragon. He also looks like he has a Princess. So it's okay. Well, looks like he's got a bit of a baity kind of deck. Uh, so maybe we're gonna be facing the Mega Knight bait deck. Actually, now that I think of it, I probably am facing the Mega Knight bait deck. Uh, but anyways, his Goblin Barrel really nice catches. Uh, pretty much takes out my entire Goblin Hut. Uh, but we cycled back to our Barbarian Hut. So let's go ahead, place that card down. And uh, again, spell bait. Uh, you would want to place your uh, huts two tiles from the king's tower that way because you d you d there's no troops that uh, you need to really distract and uh, yeah it's just a good placement <laughs> basically uh, but anyways uh, he looks like he has an electro wizard uh, which is going to be quite annoying to deal with uh, maybe he'll put down a mega knight here so let's go ahead and get some minions back yep there's that mega knight oh it looks like we got some really nice mega knight value right there boom catches everything and uh, alright there we go now we're going to be set for a really, really nice counter push. Uh, let's go ahead and put that miner in to predict the princess as well as some bats. Unfortunately, I failed to predict the princess, but there we go, guys. Mega Knight jumps onto the princess, and then it will go onto the tower, and uh, that tower is going to be taking some massive damage, and the tower actually goes down. So now all we have to do is to defend for 55, 50 more seconds, and we will be set. Uh, looks like this guy is going to be rushing a Mega Knight here, so let's go ahead and arrow that out. We are going be taking some damage this push uh, unfortunately so uh, we're gonna have to be very careful <laughs> and actually try not to lose this tower right here all right looks like we're gonna be good towers down to 1300 hit points but uh now we basically caught up on the defense get that barbarian hut down and there's no way he's going to be getting through a barbarian hut in 30 seconds even though he does have a mega knight my mega knight is going to be good enough to take care of that so let's go ahead and put a mega knight down and take out that goblin barrel uh, there we go, Mega Knight's gonna jump onto the Barbarian Hut, but that doesn't matter. Barbarian Hut has over 2,000 hit points, and there's no way a Mega Knight is going to deal 2,000 hit points in that short of a time. There we go, uh, Miner to take out the Princesses, and there's no way he's going to take that tower down. And there we go, guys, getting ourselves that 12 win Classic Challenge victory uh, using a Mega Knight spawner deck. Um... Yeah, this deck is really interesting, but uh, anyways, there we go. Here is the deck one more time. Let's go ahead and check out this guy's profile here. Uh, looks like he is a three, uh, uh, 4K player um, using uh, Mega Knight Spell Bay. Let's also check out this guy because he was pretty tough. But anyways, let's go ahead, head right into this chest opening. Let's see what we're going to be getting. Uh, 2,000 gold, 3 Dark Goblins, 44 Skeleton Barrels, 45 Barbarians, uh, 7 Mega Minions, and 1 Clone Spell. Didn't like the clone spell, but I'll take all of the other things. And uh, now we also have a crown chest that we can go ahead and open. Let's see if we can get anything out of it. Uh, three gems, uh, 35 bats, 38 skeleton barrels, 8 hogs, and 1 bowler. I'll definitely be taking that bowler on its way to level 6. But anyways, guys, here's the deck one more time. But unfortunately, guys, that is all I have time for in today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below, as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, this is Legendary.
and I'm signing off. See you guys next time. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. Sub sub subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. Sub sub subscribe to my channel.